Can you describe how you felt when RCA closed? When it closed? Yeah, I felt lousy. I really felt bad because I thought that was such a such a good company and why it closed, you know. And then the people who I was I think I was mad at the people who sold it. And they you know like why? Why are you doing this to get the money to what why? I never understood why they sold RCA. Were you, uh, I guess, did you leave RCA before it closed or uh, did you leave because it closed? No, I left it because, no, I did get laid off from RCA, Cherry Hill. You could either go to Princeton because they were changing everything. You could either go to Princeton or you could uh, get laid off. I chose to get laid off. So I got laid off, and then when I went back, it was um, GE. You know, GE had bought it. And then it became Martin Marietta. And then it became Lockheed Martin. And I worked for GE all the way up to, you know, Lockheed Martin. Well, could you tell me the difference between GE, like the feelings of working for uh, GE than it was working for RCA? Well, GE, I can't remember the gentleman's name who was president, but he was a real stickler. You know, I mean, he, things were different. I mean, it was very strict, you know, and uh, it just, it's like a totally different company. I didn't want GE. Lockheed Martin wasn't too bad. GE. He was after numbers. You know, how much can I make? How much can I? How good can I look? Jack. Do you know his name? His name was yeah. Jack something. Yeah, I don't remember. And I can't remember his name, but. So would you say that? GE would, G, would you say GE, I guess they like care and it's as much for, for your workers, you know, employees or workers or whatever? No, like, not at all, not at all. Um, because RCA, like I said, it was a family thing in a sense, like the family store. You know, they, they took care of the employee GE didn't take care of the employee. GE took care of GE. And you should always take care of the employee because the employee is the one that makes you the money. You have to keep them happy. And if you don't, they don't work. It goes down. Mm -hmm. uh, can you describe this how it was working for it was called Martin Marietta, or? Mark, yeah, after GE was Martin Marietta. Eh, a little bit better. Still not the same as RCA, you would say, or? No. Mm -hmm. no. Lockheed Martin wasn't like that either. Lockheed Martin, when I worked for them, it was, um, the government paid me because we had, um, Bids and proposals on ships and you know security stuff. So that's I, mean, I can't talk about that, but it was just security. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it was a nice company. Towards the, I guess I guess towards the end of your career, like did you still have some of the same coworkers that you had? Oh yeah. Huh? Yeah, I still have uh, well, we used to, all the girls used to get together for dinner and Christmas dinner, you know. But because I live so far from them, it's hard for me to get up there. But I do have one girlfriend that I worked with 
and the rest you know, from, from those days. He went to high school with her. Uh, let's see. Is there anything like you want to touch about your childhood or anything? My childhood? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see. When I was a kid, we used to roller skate in the street. I mean, we never sat. Well, we didn't have TV. So, <laughs> we used to roller skate in the street. We used to play all day. I mean, our, my parents would have to whistle for us to come home because we out, you know, we were out playing with our friends, playing baseball, kickball, whatever we could in the park, playing. I lived in Camden. Um, you know where Dudley Bridge Park is? No. In Camden High School? Oh. Right across the street is Dudley Bridge Park. Oh, we'll call it that anywhere. What do you we call, call it? Farnham Park then. What is it? Farnham Park, that's what you call it. Yeah, Far Farnham Park, that's what's called. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, then it was Dudley Grange Park because I lived on Dudley Street. Uh, and it was a very nice, clean street. And my niece, who is a social worker and helps druggies and all that kind of stuff, said, Yeah, Judy. I go down that big street and she said, you wouldn't believe it. It's not the same. It's just not the same. It's terrible. But um, I can remember snow getting on the sleigh. <laughs> and my dad pulling us down the street because there was so much snow and, you know. I mean, we weren't rich, but we were happy. You know? It was fun. Good times. Good life. Um, so I'm, I'm, think, I'm guessing, did you, ever, did you move from Dudley Street before you went to high school? Did you say that the college was high? Yeah, well, when I was uh, eight years old, my dad said we're going to move, we're going to move out of Camden, and we moved to Collingswood, and then I went to um, Sharp School in Collingswood, and I graduated from Collingswood High. And then right after I graduated, I went to work at Where did you do any sports in uh, high school? Did you have any I was a cheerleader. I ran track. Um, I got a blue medal for high jump. Um, I came in second running around the track. Um, I loved sports and uh, cheerleading. Queen of my prom. Best look in my class. Uh, not that you should be. <laughs> There's other things in life besides that, you know. But then I didn't realize that until I had my kids like, oh my God, Judy, you're not a beauty queen. You're a mother. You're, you know. Face facts. So, but that's what I was in high school. <laughs> Had a lot of friends. Belonged to a club, which we called ourselves the Clicks. The Clicks. The Clicks. And we <laughs> we would have parties, go on hay rides. You know, had boyfriends. Went to movies. Had fun. That's it. What do you guys do? Uh, For fun. <laughs> go to parties. Dance. Dance, <laughs> movies. Yeah, we have dances. Yeah. Bet you don't go on hay rides, though. <laughs> you wouldn't like a hay ride. It is, it is so much fun. You get your girlfriend, you go on a hay ride, and then you go. A horse drawing, um, oh. what do you, wagon? Yeah, pull ahead. And it's so much fun. Honest to God, it is. It's great. I'm gonna try it. I went on a hayride. You went on a hayride? Yeah. See, wasn't it fun? Yeah, when I was living in Westville. Oh, you lived in Westville? Mm -hmm. That's not too far from where I live. 
Monroe Mall. Do you know where that is? No. Nobody's had, you drive through Monroe, I mean, Devon Road, Monroeville Road. <laughs> you drive through it and you pass Monroeville and that's it. It's farm country. It's not the city. And I've never moved back to the city again. No. You didn't like the city? You don't like the city? No. I used to live in Port East. And the congestion, the cars, and everything's at you. And then when you get older, you don't want to be bothered with that. You want to go to the store and get what you need, go home, watch TV, pop your feet up, watch a game, you know. And then we have horses and dogs and cats <laughs> and hay. <laughs> and that's it. Travel a lot. We talk about Camden. My grandmother grew up in Camden. Did she? And she was born in 1900, so we're talking early, yeah. early. And she went out to work when she was 12 or 13. And she worked in Philadelphia. And there was no bridge. The bridge didn't come about until 1928. How did she get across? She walked across when it was, when the ice, when there was ice on the Delaware River, she walked across. Oh my word. Or there was a, there were three ferries actually. So Mickles had a ferry, uh, Cooper's had a ferry, and so did Canes had a ferry. And so she either ran the ferry or like I said in the wintertime she walked across to her job in Philadelphia. Wow. Wow. So that was kinda of cool. Yeah. Yeah. How things have changed. Yes. I mean, <laughs> you're not walking across the Delaware anymore. <laughs> no. Good way. no. It's not even cold enough. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm. So, anyway, I just thought you would like to know that about Camden as well. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Then. And she lived um, down near where the ship is, where the New Jersey is. Oh, I worked on that. The New Jersey ship? What do you call that ship? What is it? Um, it's New Jersey. It's the USS New Jersey. Yeah. Well, oh, you want me to shut up? Am I done? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, Lockheed Martin, which was used to be RCA, asked people to volunteer to go when the ship first came and was docked there to clean, help clean the ship. So I went and I helped clean the ship. So I was a little pull something and there was something else I was going to tell you too. Two minutes. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we should get ready to clean our interview. So I'll say okay. thank you for coming today. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, what do you want to be when you grow up? That's pretty good. That's good. Uh, yeah. Well, how about you? A psychologist. Alrighty. Good. Good. I want to be a counselor for little kids. You know, really? help kids with problems and stuff. Yeah, I think that's very commendable. I think that's great. I really do. My niece does that. She helps these kids. Right. My daughter does also. My yeah. daughter's a social worker down in North Carolina, and she works with Cherokee. Well, she, my niece, worked in Camden. She didn't want to leave Camden. She was helping the drugs pe drug people. She didn't want to leave. She wanted to stay. They pushed her in the 40s and she's having a fit. <laughs> she wants to come back here. <laughs> okay, sir. You too, sir, ma'am. Thank you.